Hey golf fans, this is early 1981 and welcome back to some more PGA Tour 2K23 gameplay here on the channel. Today we are going back in time and checking out 1346 Late Medieval Open. I do hope all you fantastic viewers and subscribers are well. If you are new here, please make sure to smash the subscribe button. And if you are enjoying the content, please leave a like. Now let's check out the course details. It is a par 74, fairways and greens are firm, the green speeds are medium fast, the weather is clear, and the time of day is dawn. Let's check out the course settings. There are two tee options. We will be swinging from the gold tees, which are playing a lengthy 7,595 yards, and as always, pin set number one. This course is really going to suit Hamish Mulligan McGregor. It feels like he's back where he belongs. Medieval Scotland. But look at this for an opening hole. Very creative. And I cannot wait to get my teeth into this one. But before we do start, guys, I have had a few questions from a few of you asking me what difficulty settings I do play on. So I'm just going to show you guys the settings before we do tee off. Where are we? So as you can see, my XP multiplier is 2.01. I do play on Master. All the aids and um, settings that do kind of make the game easier, I do have them disabled. So opening tee shot, let's see if we can cannon into this cluster of stones down here. That's a nice opening tee shot. I tell you what, it's going to be close. Are we going to get a favourable kick? We're actually just going to carry that cluster of stones there. But that has ensured we can comfortably reach this green in two. Wow, target golf required here. Look how tight and small this green is. I'm just going to hit four iron here. Full D loft and a lot of top spin. And it's a lovely strike. Can we cannon this up the fairway? Up onto the dance floor. Big slope defending the pin here. Oh, that's going to come all the way back down, sadly. Despite that being a good shot, it didn't work out. So let's see if I can chip this one close and hopefully walk away with an opening birdie. But I've got a feeling this is going to be a tough course. It's a lovely touch. Just in shooting, I stayed away from the left-hand side of the green there. Pin high, and that is going to leave a five foot putt. Green speeds are 155. So great start to the round. Horrible putt line there. Needs to move to one under par. And hole and number two, par three. Very creative. Look at this. Up on the ramparts of the castle here. I'm going to try and draw this just to take off a little bit of yardage. That four mile per hour wind is going to push me to the right. That is a lovely strike, tiny fast. And look how much I have been punished there. But we are going to have a putt for a birdie. Now, before I do forget, those of you who do play this game competitively, please make sure to check out my society early 1981's World of Golf. We also have a Discord server, which I will leave a link to in the video description. There's some fantastic players that take part in the society. All top guys, just looking for a bit of competitive fun. It is a well-run society and some fantastic events, so please make sure to check it out. Hole number three, we're going to have to shape this, I do believe. Water and play down the right-hand side. Let's play a huge fade and see if I can get this ball turning from left to right. It's a very nice, clean strike. And that ball is going to find the left-hand side of the fairway. I would have liked for that ball to have turned a little bit more from left to right. But this is a tough approach shot. Really in between clubs here. So just applying full backspin to this gap wedge. Let's see if we can get it zipping back. It's 103% power. It's a fast. I can't see that spinning back, but it should hold the green. Oh, this is a horrible putt. And I'll tell you something, you're going to have to bring your A-game to this course. It really is offering 
an extreme challenge and I'm playing in low to medium wind conditions. That's a decent lag putt. It should be a really easy par save from four feet out. But I do walk away with the par, and that is going to keep me at one under. But a very creative course so far, really enjoying it. Certainly brings you back to medieval times here. This is another tasty tee shot. And that slight fast is going to help me. The one thing I have noticed straight away, and I am playing this in 4K, um, is these little clumps of rough that are distributed around the fairway. I'm finding them very, very hard to see. It could well just be my old eyes. I actually don't have the greatest off vision. But these are very punishing. I don't think I can actually pitch this. Really in between clubs. Let's just go with a pitch shot. It's not a shot that I'm extremely comfortable with. But hopefully this ball does run out. It is a nine iron. This is a terrible light. It's a nice shot. Oh, that's coming up way short. I did apply far too much loft and backspin there. But the stonework to create the castle really is exquisite and the turrets as well it must have taken ages to design this golf course and like i say he is a designer that i've never come across previously so it is great to showcase new designers on the channel and raise attention to these fantastic courses this is a big par putt coming up now this is all stemmed from that poor pitch We've missed that on the left, I think. Yeah, that's a disappointing bogey, you know. And I do drop back to level par. But really looking forward to seeing what this course offers next. Let's try and overpower this tee shot. Playing the wind, which is very, very mild. A tiny fast yet again, but we do get it overpower. And that is comfortably going to find the center of the fairway. This is a par five. But look how tight and small the greens are here. I'm going three wood. I'm going to try and find the right center of this green. Anything too far left, the ball's just going to kick away. That's a huge fast. And we are going to fail to find this small target green. It's not the worst of outcomes, though. Hopefully we can get up and down for birdie with a little chip shot here. But my swing timing and swing line is just not consistent enough. I used to pride myself on my swing line in this game, so much so that I got accused of cheating on a regular basis. I wonder where all those haters are now that I'm just not playing this game regular. But that is not the best of chip shots. A lot of work to do here for the birdie. Surely that turns. It's on a good line. Oh, on the edge. That did drop with pace and power. But I do get back to one under par. Hole number six. I'm going to have to shape this ball. Let's go for a fade. Just try to lose a little bit of distance here. We do get the perfect. That ball's turning beautifully. This should be a really good shot. There is a slope to the right-hand side here. And this should continue to get better and better. No way. Come on, ball. Stay on the green. Even good shots are punished on this golf course. That was such a good shot. Let's see if we can chip this one in. Delicate touch required here. He's got a chance. Ooh. Missed that one on the right-hand side. That's disappointing. It's another par. Keeps me under par though. And we move on to hole and number seven. Playing right along the castle wall. This is such a tight fairway to find. And look at the, the slope in the fairway. I just don't understand how you're going to find the fairway here. Probably the designer's forcing us to lay up with three wood. But it's not in my game. And that is going to be another missed fairway in regulation. And I'm not going to be able to reach this 
tiny green yet again. Let's apply a little bit of loft here just to ensure that this ball comes out. Try to get it air bound. And it looks like I'm going from rough to rough, but I genuinely never seen that rough just short of the green. I really am finding it hard to tell the difference between the fairway and the rough. That is one little point that I would give to the to the designer. Other than that, I'm really enjoying the course, especially the challenge. It's definitely one of these courses where you will come back to try and beat your score, learn the course. And I think these kind of courses are always really enjoyed by the community. So hole number eight, downhill par four. I'm just going to try and fade this a little bit and find the right-hand side of this pin. I don't think we'll hold the green. Oh, we get the perfect. Oh, that ball's turned a lot more than I wanted it to. Where's this going to kick? Yeah, can I nestle up in the heavy rough? And we all know how punishing this stuff is. Look at that lie. Let's try and chip this one short of the pin and let it release out. It's a nice touch. Played that well. Oh, that ball really ran on, but it is a pretty straightforward putt for birdie from 10 feet. Very little movement in this one. It's a good birdie. I'll take that all day long. It gets me to two under par. And we move on to the final hole of this front nine. Now, this looks like the green is going to be across the moat. The creativity to design this course is something special. With me being a Scotsman, I am a huge fan of castles. There's plenty of castle ruins on my doorstep. I would love to know where the designer got his inspiration for this course. And this green isn't across the moat. This is such a tough shot. Slope at my feet's going to add yardage as well. I'm just going to try and find the gap short off the green here. It does look like the fairway will kick from right to left towards the green. So big shot coming up here. It's a tiny fast, but I have pushed my swing line over to the right-hand side. We are going to find that gap. And this should be a beautiful golf shot. It should only get better. I think that's going to be a nasty putt, though. The ball's actually coming back down that slope. Oh... This is one of these putts, the more right I go, the harder left it's going to break. This really is an extreme golf course. Surely that nestles down. It's a decent lag putt. It is going to give me a birdie opportunity. From nine feet out. We do drill that right into the centre of the cup. And despite that bogey, we are three under par. Unless I'm just playing terrible, guys, and this course isn't as challenging as I'm making it to look. It's another shot where I'm really in between clubs. I'm going to have to try and fade this five wood to the centre of the green. Just taking yardage off. It's another fast, horrible swing line yet again. I'm just not getting any consistency to my swing line. Despite that, it's a decent outcome. Don't want to be a hero here. Par on some of these holes is a really good score, by the way. That should release out, get in the hole. Oh, I'm unlucky there. It's going to be another solid par, this time from nine feet out. And it keeps me at three under par. Hole number 11. No, okay, right, this shot is going to be across the moat. There's a perfect. Just try to avoid these little clusters of, of heavy rough. Some of these shots, it's a lottery where the ball's going to kick and where you're going to finish up. I love this shot across the water. You've got the bridges there as well. So full backspin applied. What a shot that is. 
Oh, 104% power though. Absolutely cooked it. And I just cannot get close to these flag sticks. This is another lengthy putt, 31 feet. But your approach shots really require accuracy and control. That's got a chance, you know. That's got a chance. Oh, it drops. What a fantastic putt that is. It's a rarity that you see me convert putts like that. But that did look in from about six feet out. It was traveling as well. It's going to be my fifth birdie of the round. It does get me to four under. I do have one blemish on the scorecard, that bogey. Hole number 12. I'm going to try and take the right-hand side. It's going to leave me closer to the pin, to the green. Tiny fast, common theme. This surely kicks right, though. And that kick right ensures we do find a fairway. But I wonder what the date of the course, 1326, I do believe it was, what relevance that has to the course. And like I say, I would love to know the background to the course. I couldn't find any information regarding it. There's a perfect. This should be money. This should be money. There's top spin on it as well. What a golf shot that is. That is my best approach shot off the round by a mile. And I think for the first time, it's back-to-back -back birdies. Gets me to five under par. I am starting to get a feel for my rhythm and my swing line now. But let's see if I can take advantage of this short par five. It's a tiny fast. It's going to find the center off the fairway. Where it's going to kick, no one knows. 207 yards to go. <laughs> Look at this. I'm just going to try and find the front of the green here and try and power it up there. There's no other way you're holding the green from this distance. So five iron. Oh, it's a lovely strike. Needs to go, though. It's got a chance, this. I've called the shot I wanted to do. Is it going to stay? No way. It's off the green. That is unbelievable. I think another yard that ball stays. And like I say, it's one of these courses where good shots get punished. It's going to be a frustrating course for some. Little bump and run. That is going to ensure another tap in birdie. Gets me to six under par. Three consecutive birdies here. I'll take that all day long. Hole number 14. I just love the, the rustic look and feel to the course. Very, very raw in areas. But it makes for a fantastic round of golf. Certainly challenging. And the views of the castles and the medieval features really are something else. Just applying full backspin here due to the slope at my feet. It's another 104% power. That's going to be way too long. It's rare that I, I um, manage to overpower the ball as much as what I'm doing currently. I normally get about 101%. Certainly not birdie in this one, unless this chip shot does run out. We're going to miss that on the left-hand side. It was a good effort, though. It's going to be a tap-in par. It's going to keep me at six under. Four holes to play. But this really is a course that everyone will enjoy playing. If you are finding it too difficult on master swing difficulty, you can always lower the difficulty settings and playing pro. Beautiful swing line there. Tiny fast and look how far left that balls went. And yet again, I'm in the heavy rough and you really want to avoid this. But loving the turrets, I've got no idea how long the designer has spent on the, the details here. It's a tiny fast. Try to play for the kick to the right here. Oh, it's a huge kick. I was trying to play for the slope just short of the pin, which you probably will see from this angle. There it is there. You can see that that ball was always going to release down there. It just got a firm kick. And like I say, some of these pins are really, really tough to get close to. It's another nice chip shot. 
the chipping in this game is, is far easier than um, EA Sports PGA Tour 23 in my opinion hole number 16 let's see if we can pick up another birdie before the final hole it's another lottery here I'm trying to take this down the right hand side and avoid all of these clumps of rough this I visualize this as being like a battlefield outside the castle it actually looks like we are outside the castle here and look how small this green is it's just fortunate that I avoided the rough there but let's see if I can find the center of the green I'm trying to overpower this one it's a tiny fast I want it to be more to the right hand side I don't think this will hold the green that is a fantastic golf shot but there we go yeah again these runoffs and slopes in the green when you're hitting three woods into them it's just nigh impossible to hold obviously you can lay up oh early i've made a mess of that i overcooked that chip shot and this is going to be a tough shot i'm actually going to try and putt this if i can find the putter there we go so this is definitely turning from right to left it's really going to break at my feet and then it kind of straightens out let's see if i can get the weight right as well we are putting from the fringe i think i've got the weight oh, i didn't have the read though that's disappointing not to pick up birdie there it was that chip shot it cost me I do move on to the 17th hole. Certainly want to be short of the pin here. Let's apply full D-loft and some top spin to this gap wedge. Try and overcook it. It's a lovely swing. Tiny fast, 104% power. Surely that kicks out. Now that sat down really, really quick. It is going to give me a birdie opportunity, this time from 20 feet out. It is breaking both ways here. Certainly turning more from left to right. Now that has got a chance. Surely it does turn. Oh, we lip it. Just caught the edge of the cup there. And we are going to move on to the final hole. If this fantastic golf course. It really is a frustrating but enjoyable round. And I will certainly be coming back to try and better my score. How's that ball going so far left? Come on, wind. Don't say I'm going to be caught behind these ruins. No way I am. And it's going to be the heavy rough. I don't think we could have reached into anyway. The approach shot is across the moat into a target green. So just laying up with six iron here. Full loft ensured. We carried the ruin, and that is going to run out. It's going to be nothing more than a full wedge into this green. 114 yards. 106. Let's apply full backspin. Three mile per hour wind. Try and land this just a little bit short of the pin. It's another 106, and it's such a lovely strike. These 106 are really costing me today. And I have made a mess of these par fives. Let's try and chip this in. I've overcooked the chip shot again. What is going on? My last two chip shots have been atrocious. And look at this. That ball has just ran on for days. It's an uphill putt for par. There's not a lot of movement in this one. Just got to make sure we've got the weight. Have I hit it? Have I hit it? I have hit it, it didn't turn, that ball stayed straight, despite minimal break, and that is ending the round on a sour note, it's a bogey, did not play the last par fives as well as I should have, but that is it for today's video guys, what a fantastic course, please get out there and play it, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to smash the like button, if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, and until the next video, take care, peace out, and love you all, bye.